こんにちは僕はロッキーで今日はまたケンシヨネズさんにリアクションしてます。Today, yo, we are going to be reacting to some more of our man ケンシヨネズ。And、uh, of course, it's been a little bit. It's only been,、uh, I think, about two weeks or so. Two, three weeks. Anyway, regardless, I do just want to let you guys know yes, I am still reacting to、uh, Japanese music. まだケンシヨネズの、uh, な,なんか音楽にリアクションしてます。I am still, still, まだ Still, of course, right? And、uh, I'm very pumped to continue just diving even deeper into his stuff. I've been a little bit busy recently, but、um, yeah, I'm really pumped to listen to some new stuff because so far, everything I've really enjoyed.、Uh, I feel like some of his songs have stayed around a little more、uh, than others for me,、um, like especially Kick Back this year so far has been. Uh, absolutely amazing. So, like, talking in like a kickback to you, Kyokua, like a Ichiban Saiko de Shita, don't we must. Like, I really, really think、uh, that kickback has been absolutely amazing. It's been fucking incredible. It's probably like my Japanese song of the year.、Uh, if we're talking about like just out of all J music artists that I've listened to, like, kickback is just crazy. But anyway, today we have got Furamingo, we have got Pale Blue, and then after that, we have got Shinigami. Now, I've had,、um, I think, Flamingo and Shinigami recommended to me a little bit in the comments.、Uh, Pale Blue, I don't remember seeing a lot of, but、um, I'd seen a, a couple of comments recently、um, about that. And also, surprisingly, a couple of reactions、um, had popped up in my feed to that as well, too. So I thought, oh, this might be really fun to go ahead and, of course, check out with you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead, let's get straight into it. We've got Flamingo, massive old like full screen. 321始めましょう Damn All silent for a second I was about to check my audio ファナがベースがすげえ。ああ。おぉ。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。His fingernails, as well, too. They look so cool.、Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Hi. 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 Oh, damn. Dude, I'm sorry, but the song is a vibe. Like, the bass, the guitar going off. It's got this groove and funk to it. It's got like this cyberpunk vibe to it as well, too. Like a cyberpunk みたいな感じ。おいいね。That's vocals in the back. Boom, boom. It's almost like an a c a p e l l a b e a t boom, 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 boom. Oh, I love that. Hello? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, bro. This just like constantly proves my point. His music is so incredible, bro. Uh, uh. 
It's so like my type of vibe. Like, I guess, um, what I can say very confidently is that recently, throughout probably the last、uh, couple of years, I think I've really started to actively enjoy like. Songs that have a very high, um, oh, a very high like similarity to like funk, if that makes sense. Like songs that have like very pronounced bass, where like the bass guitar is very pronounced, or like you know, where you've got like the like on the guitar or something like that. I, I just really enjoy. Those types of sounds a lot. And like recently, I've been getting even more into that type of vibe. And I've noticed that、uh, Kenshi actually uses that quite a lot. Like he uses it、um, a decent amount. And this is really just kind of like a staple as part of his sound, I think, that I've come to kind of like expect and enjoy. And he just goes so hard with it. And I really love that. I think just beyond,、uh, you know, even the instrumental, because the instrumental is one thing, but, you know, listening to his voice. It's kind of crazy to me、uh, at this point because, you know, we've obviously listened to him a decent amount now. It's crazy that his voice goes with so many different types of beats because I never would have expected that. Like, his voice is so versatile in terms of like what it is able to match in terms of like the instrumentals that it's just crazy. Like, I think it's so fucking cool. That I can listen to any song by him that's got any instrumental and that it just absolutely goes off. I'm just really impressed by it. I think that、um, he's got an absolutely amazing voice, but definitely in this, type of,、um, in this type of song, I think it really shines. So, Flamingo is 100% the type of song that I would put on a playlist, but now we've got Pale Blue. So, let's start this one in 3, 2, 1.Let's go. All right. The time. The time. I really like the、uh, aesthetic of the MV already. Feels very artistic, that piano. Ah, ah. Oh, the strings? It's very、uh, delicate. It feels delicate. I love that. It's a very interesting song. It's like, because it's pretty, it's very delicate in parts, but then it really like explodes with emotion here. All of his MVs are really pretty. Like, all of his MVs are really pretty. すべての動画、ミュージックビデオ。えいや、おう、see? Like, what is this? 何これ、bro? ああ。I love this shot. Like, it's so artistic. The lyrics, too, man. Oh, 
けの触れた跡口をほつれてゆくボタンの穴 I just thought of something interesting こんなちぐはぐな舞台はもう閉めたいなのにエピラクのセリフか言えなくなったねあなたを見つめてたどれだけ生まれ変わろうとも意味がないくらいどこか導かれるようにあなたと出会いたい今さら言いたいことなんて Dude, I really like his style here too, like his two toned hair. <laughs> Bro, you just want to sing to it. Oh, let's go back. Oh, let's go back. Waltzing around the ballroom. Ah. Oh, wow, bro, this is beautiful. I think this changed the whole song for me, this switch up. Wow, look at the waves in the back, like. Bro. Yeah, look. This was um this was just really pleasant to watch and listen to, I think. Um Surprisingly, so Koharu Sugawara. Okay, cool. I think um the thing that kind of gets me about him is like uh yes with uh music and art just in general i feel like he's a genius but you know like there's some musicians they make music i think almost sometimes for like different parts of your body what i mean by that is you know how like some musicians that you listen to so some artists make like music for your soul some make music for like you know um your heart like you know you've got like soul music you've got like like music that's like you know to like like tug on those emotions of either like intense love or like despair or pain or like hatred or something like that like in your heart instead but then i feel like you've got artists like kensi right and kensi onezu makes i think music that is just for your brain like i know that it's not just that but this is just like an overwhelming Um, it's an overwhelming thought that I keep on kind of like having and popping up. And I think that like now I guess I can say it because I feel it constantly. And that is like, I feel like he just kind of always makes music that inspires your brain to just think about shit. Does that make sense? Like sometimes you can like listen to music, I think, really mindlessly. And that's okay because it's not, not made to like necessarily make you think. Sometimes music is made to instead just make you feel like you just, you feel. But this, I feel like, you know, even watching the music videos and stuff like that, like you can definitely tell that there's very much like a, a really、um, artistic Aspect of the way that I think that he makes music in terms of the way that he like uses music to express,、um, it, like, he uses music as an art form and like as a form of expression to be able to like kind of you know talk about the things it is that he wants to talk about or express himself in the ways that he wants to. Like, I just think it's really cool. Like, there's not many artists I think that I actually listen to, like, actively listen to that are similar to this. Like, I think that、uh, Kenshi Onezu is probably one of the only ones, one of, one of. But、um, yeah, I really enjoy it. I think that throughout the song, like, you know, up until we got to that switch part, probably around here, it was really fun. 
um, because, you know, you get to see like acting in the music video by uh, Koharu as well. You get to see uh, certain aspects and certain shots that are just really pretty and really well filmed. And, you know, you've got like these different vistas, like this sunset landscape where he's like sitting outside. Then you've got the, the sheets, like the bed sheets, like flailing in the wind, like the fabrics, sorry, like flailing in the wind with the beach behind them and stuff like that. So you've got like, you know, loads of different scenes here, I think that uh, like obviously really capture your attention. But then the moment that we like switch up the pace and then the lyrics uh, for, you know, the way that we like almost start following like that waltzing around the ballroom, or, like waltzing around the dance floor type vibe. Uh, I just really enjoyed that in general. And I think that, yeah, I think he's really good with switch ups like that. And I think that was probably where I really started to go. OK, maybe I would probably put this song on the, my on my playlist. I think that, yeah, just in general, um, I'm really impressed by him as always. I mean, I don't really think there's a song that I listen to where I go, oh my God, that's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, I never do. I never do that with music just in general. I either just decide if it's for me or if it's not for me. But um, yeah, I, I would probably listen to this if it came on. So yeah, Pale Blue, definitely one I'll go back to. But oh man, we have got Shinigami next. So it's Sugiwa Shinigami desu. Let's go. And Shinigami is really short, like super short. Ooh. Just a mic? Why, bro? Why is it only two minutes? <laughs> Why is it only two minutes? Oh, bro. If it was longer than two minutes, oh, that would have been fucking awesome. But I guess this is kind of the definition of short but sweet. Short but sweet, indeed. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, look, I think... So, Flamingo and Shinigami are probably my two favorites easily. So I'm gonna add them to my playlist now uh, because they are definitely, they are definitely two songs I will wanna listen to again, especially Shinigami as well. I think surprisingly actually, Shinigami is um, really my type of, <gasps> oh, it's longer. Oh, it's longer on Spotify. Okay, hold up. Maybe the MV is just, MV is just two minutes? Ooh. Hey, hey. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, I had no idea. Hey, hey. Spotify de Kikeba Motto Nagai Kono Kyoku Ah, Yokata. I'm so happy, bro. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, bro, this is a vibe. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's go. Hey, Hey, dude, oh, I love this, bro. This is a vibe. Please help me. Yeah, yeah, please, please help me. Oh, dude, this is my vibe. Oh, dude, this is so vibey. What the fuck? <laughs> I love this. I love this. This. I don't damn. This is uh. This is something, bro. This entire song. Wow. Wow. I'm so impressed. Ah uh, yeah, dude. Look, Shinigami is an amazing song. Framingo is amazing as well too. And Pale Blue, I I really enjoy. I think for me personally, to start with, um, I'll probably say that Flamingo and Shinigami are my favorites. Maybe I like Shinigami more. Naka Shinigami wa motto motto suki da to omou kedo naka wakarimasen. I can't decide, bro. Damn, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know which one I like more. Wow. Okay, interesting. Today, two really good finds as part as the songs are concerned. Uh, Pale Blue, I'm actually excited to listen to again. So I'll definitely be searching that up and listening to it as well. But let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below, which is your favorite song. And also, do you have any other recommendations for Kenshi Onezu just in general as well too? For anyone who is stuck around towards the end, uh, recently I got two copyright strikes on this channel. Now, this is obviously nothing to, to worry about per se, but there's a reason that I've been posting a little bit less Japanese content lately, and that is purely just because of that. And I've been busy with other stuff as well too, but next month, uh, they will go away in January. It's just that, yeah, if you get three copyright strikes on your channel, then it gets deleted. Uh, and so, yeah, I've just kind of tried to avoid doing too much stuff. Uh, I do want to react to his live performances and stuff, but um, I don't know if that's safe or, or not to to uh, post over here on YouTube. And I don't want to take the risk uh, at this point, but uh, more coming very, very, very soon. So obviously don't sweat it, don't stress about that. But I really just want to say thank you so much as always for tuning in. It's more mite kurete, honto ni arigato gozaimasu. And until next time, take care out there, stay safe, subscribe if you enjoyed the vibes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.